Dear friend, do you truly believe that you can fool God with doctrine? I want to speak today about that idea that many people say. It joins a bit what I said yesterday about the doctrine of once saved, always saved. People want to make you believe that your salvation is unconditional and whatever you do will not change anything. Because they say to you that salvation is free and it's unconditional. Dear friend, let me be clear about something. If God doesn't uh, expect anything from us, if there's nothing that we do or think or believe or decide in our lives that can change the outcome of where we spend eternity, if there's nothing we can say or do or change when it comes to our salvation, then, dear friend, God has to save everyone. Because if he doesn't, that makes him unjust. That makes him a wicked God. Dear friends, God wants to save every person. This is what God wants. It is a desire for him to save every soul. There's no exception. Every person that he made, he loves. He loves, meaning that he wants to save. He wants to give his Holy Spirit in that person. In order that person, that that person comes to him in repentance and joins the fold, his family. He wants to save everyone. So if God desires that he wants to save everyone, to save everyone, why doesn't he do it? Is he not able? Of course he is able. But God wants a relationship with his family. He wants a relationship with every one of us. And that means, dear friends, that we have a say in how we build our relationship with God. That doesn't mean that we will earn our salvation or that we are in charge of our salvation. It means exactly the opposite. Because to be saved means that we need to deny our own will, deny ourselves, become bankrupt so that God himself saves us because the humble will be able to be exalted. The one who decreases will have the Spirit of God fill them. It is by denying ourselves daily, dear friends, that we come to God and that we rely on Him to save us every day and keep us on the way. There is no boasting in that because we are poor, poor in our own spirit. When we are poor in our own spirit, then God sees that empty vessel ready for him and he comes inside every one of us and helps us there's no boasting in that but today's churches and supposed men of god are lying to you whether they deceive you on purpose for their own advantage or because they are themselves deceived dear friends there is no mocking god and to play games like that with him will cost you, will cost any person. Do not mistake the holiness of God. Do not mis mistake who he is. He's not a God of formulas. He is a holy God. And he is very good. He's very holy. And he expects us to be humble enough to live in His holiness and His righteousness. But we are accountable and we need to be willing every day to deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow Him. That is not works, that is denying our own works in order to follow the King 
who works in us through his Holy Spirit. Dear brother, do you understand these things? Because if you don't, then you need to go to Jesus and ask him to show you the truth when it comes to these demonic doctrines that are snatching away souls from God, making them think that their salvation doesn't have to do anything with them and their behavior. Yes, God chooses us first, but he chooses us in order to yield through us fruits for his kingdom. We need to be willing to yield to him in order to produce fruits for the kingdom of heaven. And may God bless you.